today I'm making the prettiest rainbow cake and I am going to cover it in candy from Japan. So let's get started. This is wildly precarious. <laughs> Okay, so since I'm gonna cover the cake in candy, I wanna be like kind of careful about what I do to the actual cake on the inside. That being said, I have a massive bag of caramel chocolate chips and we're gonna add these to the cake. So I'm just gonna like pour the whole thing into a bowl and melt them. I don't know if this will be good, but we will see. So I'm just gonna divide it into the bowls. This is the best shot in the world, oh my gosh. Now, time to bake. I hope this works and the chocolate doesn't just like sink to the bottom or something. So now I'm gonna focus on decorations and also it is freezing. My thermostat has a low battery and is apparently not working. So sweater it is. <laughs> Some butter, cause I'm gonna make the buttercream first. With it! Oh, he's a sneaky little boy. Oh, it's so cold in my house, the butter is cold. It's super nice and fluffy though, so like maybe there is some sort of like benefit to using cold ish, not solid, but cold ish butter. I don't know. Vanilla extract in we go. Oh, shoot, that's a lot. And icing sugar one cup at a time because otherwise it'll fly up in your face. And I say that from experience. <laughs> okay, so the cake is baked, and I actually just like figured something out really cool and I thought I'd share with you. So you see how like the cake has risen, and all I want to do is create a flat surface. So I am going to stick the knife into the side, and then I'm just gonna slide it along while keeping the edge of the knife flat against the edge of the cake pan and you keep rotating oh my god also it smells really good it smells like banana bread without the banana if that makes sense okay the best part oh, it's so satisfying oh my gosh so, done so I can like move. I am gonna put some frosting down first. So it's this is like glue. It like keeps the cake in place. Not like a lot, you can't like throw it. That isn't even close to being in the center. Another one on top. Before we get all colorful and fun, I am going to put a super thin layer of buttercream on the cake, and it's called a crumb coat. Again, moving everything. I'm like, I should just put decorations on this side because I'm right-handed and like, I don't know what I'm doing. Anyway, um, it's taken me eight years to realize that. Crumb coat, it will catch the crumbs, as hinted by the name. So I have the frosting put into different bowls and we're gonna make it rainbow. So, the magic of editing, because this is probably better than watching me mix them all individually. They are now all in little piping bags and I just like snipped off the ends. Start with purple. And also like, I like using pink instead of red for rainbows because I feel like it kind of softens it. Like the red feels a little harsh. Let me know if you agree. In my cookbook, I really went hard on that concept. There we go. All right, so, ow, I, oh, I'm gonna really hurt. Um, I have a palette knife. We are going to hold this next to the side of the cake. And you're gonna rotate the cake or this. But every time, no one freaking tells you this part. Every time you remove it, you wipe it off. So I have a massive box of Japanese candy and we are gonna go hard. This one. Hacho Shirokuma. I, 
It's like a little white square. Another version and it looks colorful. Okay, let's get pink. Stick it onto the cake. It's like a yellow one. The white one can go up here. Okay, so next I have milk um bun. So milk buns that are filled with red bean. I'm like, how is this candy? I don't know. It's little bun. <laughs> Uh, it would look weird if I just... Next is ice ramen. So ramen, if you don't know, is like a fizzy drink that tastes like Sprite. And apparently ramen was meant to sound like lemonade. It's like little white candy that I'm dropping everywhere. Okay, that adds like some vibrance to it. And I'm also coming with my own personal supply of Japanese candy. I don't have a problem. Why do you think I do? Why are you asking? Most importantly, the heck? Like, what is Bickle? I was gonna drink it while I was like decorating the cake, but it is, it is 1.36 in the morning. Um, so I'm gonna save for tomorrow. That is the easiest way to do that on camera. I think it's like little mini ice cream cones. That's kind of cute. So this whole box was gifted to me. This isn't sponsored, but it was gifted, but they are doing a giveaway just for you guys. So I will link all that information down below. If you want a box, if you like Japan, but you don't know enough to like order the stuff, you know, like online yourself, which like <laughs> I get it is overwhelming. Maybe you would like this. So that's kind of cute, right? It's like, it's playful. Cat shaped candy, I think, I hope. As somebody who has been slapped in the face by a cat before, it hurts. This <laughs> is like the weirdest video. The most exciting thing in this box is a taiyaki. I think it's filled, it's filled with chocolate. Oh my god, oh my god. Oh yay! Okay, good. It is one piece. I am happy. I'll like put it right on top. Now is this going to stay upright if I just put it in the, oh my god, it does, oh, it's so cute. Something from the box that I'm like, I'm really interested to see what this is. It's, it's long, it's like a gummy. Firstly, this is a little wide for the area of the cake that I wanna stick it on, so. Okay, it cuts well, that's good. And I'm gonna fold it over. I'm gonna get like the thinner ribbon. It's kinda cute, right? It's time to slice the cake and it's the next day and I am refreshed. So, all right, well, it's like a triangle in many, in many ways, it's a triangle. <laughs> oh, it's so pretty. Look at that. The top is like the prettiest part. It's perfectly cooked. <gasps> treacle. A rare appearance by the little treacle pig. So good. It's so smooth. You still can't taste caramel, but it's like not vanilla, if that makes sense. We can't forget about this. <laughs> Should I like try? It? Okay, no, this is this is stupid. This is we're not bobbing for apples. Ah! No. <laughs> I'll link the base recipe of this cake that we added the chocolate chips to here. And do you know who also likes candy? Peggy 